this is a Synology RAID device. Now, what is a RAID device? A RAID device is a sort of a server which you can use to access your data by inserting a array of hard drives. So, uh, this RAID server comes with these hard drive stack bays, you can say, and this specific model of Synology comes with four bays and it does come with a USB uh, port and it's got um, other options that you can obviously connect it to your LAN so you've got LAN 1 and LAN 2 and over here you have an extra option to connect to USB and uh, you have your power port two fans now the reason I'm making this video is not really to talk about the Synology uh, the RAID drive or the RAID server but in fact there is a problem in this device now guys I'm going to show you what to do and how to fix the problem so the problem is that this RAID device is not showing up on the local area network but the first thing is that the situation would be that you have your drives installed and your power is connected so I'll go ahead and connect the power for example we have our power connected and once we power it on you have this blue light flashing now you can see that the blue light is constantly flashing and neither of the status lights are on it says disk one two three and four you can't see nothing and um, on the rear the fans are spinning so that means that the raid is on um, I read through the technical documents of uh, Synology and the problem they said is with the motherboard now it's not going to be always with the motherboard what you need to do is you need to follow a few steps so first of all what you can do is you can take a paper clip and there is a little pin hole at the back and it says reset press that for say 10 seconds basically that should turn off the fans and once when you remove the pin from the reset button that should technically uh, turn the fans back on again so it means then there are some other serious problems now the flashing blue light usually means that the motherboard is dead but in our case it could be dead but we don't know so I've done few checks of this uh, RAID server and the first thing is that you need to remove all the drives so I've removed the hard drives just in case but I'm going to show you what else do you need to do so you need to remove each of these bays and that is one of the drives right it's not reading any data from this drive and we'll just keep that on the side for a second and what we'll do is we will turn this off now because it's not even responding to turning it off we can just pull the plug from the back right the couple of things I wanted to show you from inside you can see that inside the, there is this area over here which the drives basically fit into and on the left if you look that is the place where um, you can fit in the RAM so there are two slots of RAM inside which can be installed so you need to take out each of the RAMs and test them if it works or not and the third is on the bottom over here you need to open up these hatches one by one and over here you would have this SSD installed so there are two slots for the SSD so this was basically installed in one of the slots over here I'll just show you how it is it just literally plugs in like that right so now it's basically installed so you can install another uh, SSD stick over here so it's so this Synology RAID server is basically it's it's a pretty capable server but when it goes wrong it just goes flat uh, that's what 
what's the case is with the server. So if you're having this issue that you have this blinking blue light, you can take out all the drives, turn it on. And um, so example, I will take this out again. And over here, I will just, uh, with this empty, I'll just put the plug back in. Now, the RAM has been taken out. The SSD sticks have been taken out. The physical hard drives from the base have been removed, but this is still flashing. And if this is the case, then definitely the motherboard has gone for this uh, device and there is nothing you can do. You can contact uh, Synology, but I'm not entirely sure if they'll be able to do something because I'm guessing as I read on the forums or, or, or on the community chat of Synology, they said that if, if this blue light keeps on flashing, there is nothing much you can do. And uh, the, this means that the motherboard has gone and then you are in for a full replacement. So guys, just wanted to update you and quickly uh, make this video to show you guys if you're having this problem, these are the different steps you can take. First, you can try to reset it. Second, you can remove the memory, the, the hard drives and the SSDs and turn it back on. And if it's still flashing, then there's nothing you can do about it. So you guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.